Hi and welcome to another video and in this video tutorial we will be doing assessment family 5 and this can be found in the intermediate BADM um, of your LMS portal and before I begin as usual I need you to take a screenshot of this family that we are creating because once I begin I will put this uh, image aside and uh, you probably need something to reference from otherwise you uh, will not be able to catch what I'm trying to do so just take a moment to snapshot or take a picture from your phone okay so let's begin creating this piece of chair so new matrix model matrix generic model and just going to create uh, the skeletons which is the reference plane mirror them over mirror here so that will form the shape of the chair I'm just going to do some dimensions EQ and at the top as well and do the dimensions EQ over here here will be probably um, the length okay length parameter over here and the other one would have a parameter of the width width here and I'm just going to set it uh, just to follow the picture the length is 700 and the width is 600 so that will be the shape of the chair okay. and uh, I will not draw the top first what I want to draw is the legs of uh, or legs or the support of the chair and I'm just going to go to the left elevation to do that so the supports for the chair is uh, two square hollow pieces so I'm just going to do that using the extrusion and just uh, wait before we begin I need a reference plane because I want to um, keep it at 800 because the height of the legs is 800 so just change this to 800 and now I will begin creating the legs um, rectangle align them to the reference plane and here you go and you can see that I it's a hollow shape and the distance or the thickness of the frame of the chair is 20 so here I'm going to change it to 20 20 and the bottom shall be 20 as well I'm going to lock all of them in their position and here here is 20 as well okay here you go lock this and let me see what else okay Press the green tick, go to the floor plan view, and the thickness of this is also 20. So the extrusion start, I'm just going to make it 20. So I will now do a dimension that is 20, and I need it to align to the side here. And I'm going to mirror this, okay, and align. So when you mirror, just make sure to lock them again because it's not automatic when you mirror or copy. It. and so that is your legs of uh, uh, the support of the chair and next I'm going to create the portion where the seat lies which is um, this can be created in this view no problem extrusion and a little tricky um, I need to have this shape over here And here you go so something like that okay because um, I need to align here to here and here to here it's a little bit small oops okay Hmm, this is okay it's supposed to be this line over here that's why I got some error and um, this side is let me see okay 
So there's a lot of alignment going on. Okay, so this is the shape of the support of the chair on the base of the seat. And you realize that I need to cut off this area because um, this is the side thickness of the frame. So I'm just going to press the green tick and show you the outcome. Wait a minute. Okay, green tick. Yeah. Okay, so this is the shape. And I'm just going to make sure that I uh, put it in the right level. Here is 350 from the bottom. So it's going to create a parameter. And uh, this shall be, I'm not parameter, but a dimension. And the thickness of the seat will be 50. So just set it as 200. The distance 200 and 250 will give me 50. I will lock this. And above this 350, this is where I will lock the support or the base of the seat. And uh, finally, I'm going to, let me check this out. Mm hmm. So here, okay, there's a backrest. It's also 20. So I'm going to create it in the reference level view. I'm going to create a backrest, which is, it looks like it's 20. So this is the 20 mark lock here. Here as well. Wait a hmm. Yep, here you go. Here you go. And lock to the back reference plane. Um, press the green tick and go to the left elevation. See, it's over here actually. You might not notice it. So I just put it on the chair, lock it, and let's see how high it actually goes. It doesn't say how high it goes, so I'm just going to make it. Hmm, let me see. Let's just see how high it's supposed to go. About 1,005. Um, that's a little too high, maybe. So I'm going to minus 300, so it's a little shorter. So 1,002 should be fine. And uh, this is 350, if I recall. And that's right. And the next thing we're going to do is the seat, the cushion which can actually be done in the left elevation or the right elevation. So right now I'm on the left elevation, create, and I'll simply follow the shape. I'm just going to make some curvature here. And for the seat, probably I'll keep it as um, 30, 30 mm. Okay, because it's not specified in the assessment paper, you don't really have to be too exact on that. So um, this line here as well, just lock. Oops, I didn't get to lock it. I should just lock here. And same for the top, that will be... Oh, is the cushion too high? So the cushion is slightly higher than the support. And uh, wait a minute. Okay, this is not correct. It should be at the front of the support. So that will be it. And I'm going to create a curve at 30. Go all the way down. And here you go. So I just going to make a curve a little bit bigger so it's nicer. I'm just going to shorten this line. Oops. Shorten this a little bit. And here I'm going to shorten it as well so that I can create a larger curve. Okay, um, you, can, you can kind of go adjust the curve again, but uh, this is what I'm going to stop at. Press the green tick, and now I need the to go to the reference level and align my seat to the left side, align my seat to the right side. Press the 3D view, and this is how the seat will look like. So the frame, okay, these are the frame here and here, here, just using the control key to select multiple objects. This shall be the frame material, and this shall be the seat material. Material, and I'm just going to put in some description. Uh, wait a minute. 
change this to furniture family types i just going to put it as hmm, type 1 okay excellent type 1 and the length and width is there is okay okay this description will be ikea chair and the model is chr-2 okay and that's all for this family so thank you so much for um, tuning in and learning to create this family uh, for your assessment there is also uh, assessment family 1, 2, 3 and 4 so make sure to check them out in the channel they are probably the previous videos so um, thank you so much and see you in the next one